Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Adrienne. So today's video is going to be my January favorites. I did not do a favorites video in December because I really didn't have anything that I absolutely loved. And this month I didn't have any things that I anything that I hated. A lot of my comments in my last video, you guys requested for me to do the hits and the misses or the likes and the dislikes. Um, so I do plan to do that going forward, but this month I only have everything that I love. So if you want to see what's in my January 2017 favorites, please keep watching. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to talk, I have a lot of things to talk about right now, but I'm going to just start off with skincare and moisturizers. The first thing I want to talk about is this Garnier Skin Active Clean Plus Shine Control Cleansing Gel. This removes excess oils and it mattifies the skin, so this is for oily skin. I just recently purchased this from Ulta, like maybe three weeks ago probably. Um, I only use one pump of this to clean my face and I love the way it foams up on my face. I feel like my, I feel like it cleans my face very good. Um, I like the smell of it. It's like a tea tree peppermint type smell I think. Yeah, like a peppermint type oil type something, but it's not, there's no oil in here. It's oil free, but it just smells like menthol. That's what it is. It's menthol. It's charcoal plus menthol in here. So I really do like this cleanser. I've been using this in the mornings to wash my face when I wake up and I also use this at nighttime to take off well after I, after I remove my makeup I use this to cleanse my face as well so I have been loving this Garnier clean plus shine control cleansing gel the next thing I have been loving is this L'Oreal Paris Hydra Genius um, this is a moisturizer that I actually recently I purchased this actually on New Year's Eve and I talked about it on my snapchat if you guys are not following me on snapchat here's my information on all of my social media but um, I talked about this on my Snapchat and I said I really wasn't sure about this. Somebody else had mentioned it and so I went out and brought this on New Year's Eve. So I've been using this for over a month and you can see how much I've used up. So this will last me a long time. It's in a nice glass bottle. This is a moisturizer that is specifically for oily skin. I literally use one pump of this and I don't want to waste it. But I use, I use one pump of this, rub it into my skin. It helps to keep me matte. But it also moisturizes my skin and I love the way it smells. It's very, very good. This was about, I think, $16 or $17, which is a little bit pricey for drugstore. But I really, really like this a lot. And you can also use a coupon on this to try to save you some money. I just didn't that day because I wanted to buy it that day. But, yeah, this is a great moisturizer if you're looking for a new moisturizer to try. And it's drugstore. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about some makeup. I love, love, love makeup. And what I have been loving lately is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I am in the color 6W1 Sandalwood. Um, Estee Lauder is owned by MAC. So this is like a sister company of MAC Cosmetics. This stuff is bomb oh my goodness this is like my third bottle that i have purchased of this estee lauder this is my favorite favorite high-end foundation um and i stopped wearing it for a while i guess because i have like several other ones that i've been wearing but i happened to wear this one recently like three weeks ago whenever we went to our um to houston if you guys saw our last vlog for houston vlog i brought this foundation with me and Oh my gosh, my face was flawless. Like, I love the way this foundation went on. I forgot how much I fell in love with this foundation. Um, I think that it, the color matches quite perfectly. As you can see, some of the foundation is off of it. But the color matches me perfectly. Um, it's, just a, it's just a really all-around good foundation. It's great for oily skin. It's super full coverage. Yes, super full coverage. It's just a great, great foundation. Um, like I said, it gives you... It has a matte finish to it, and it's just it's just bomb, man. It's just it's just a bomb foundation. It's a little pricey, but it's not as as pricey as other foundations that that's out there. But I think it's worth every penny. So yes, I highly recommend anybody who's looking for a good, good holy grail foundation that's high end. This is not my everyday foundation because of the price, but this is for something like for special events or if I just want to change my foundation, I'll put this on, and I love it. All right, so next we're going to talk about a powder that I have been using to set, not set. This is what I use under my foundation. This is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is a translucent poreless finish airbrush powder. I saw a makeup tutorial a while back. Um, it was by Alyssa Forever. And she used 
this. She put a primer on her face and she then she took this powder and she kind of dotted her face in the oily places. And I thought, you putting powder on before you put foundation on? Don't judge it till you try it. It's amazing. So I brought this. This was, I don't know how much it costs. Uh, I'll, I'll have a link down below. But I brought this and I put this on my face after I put my primer on. And then I put the powder on. Then I apply my foundation on on top. I believe I did this in my Christmas look. Uh, my New Year's Eve look. I think I, I did this, this step in there. But I like using this translucent powder because it's very fine. It's not as thick as like my airspun powder here. The airspun powder here is translucent, but this one just kind of goes into my pores and it kind of melts it away so it really doesn't show. My pores aren't predominant and it does an amazing job at keeping me matte. I only put it on underneath my foundation. I don't apply it on top. I just use it underneath and it's like, it's bomb. Bomb. So I've also been loving this blush by MAC. It's in the color Peach Twist. This is the color that I am wearing today. It's like a pretty peach, peach twist. It's like a pretty, pretty peach color here. And you can see it here. It's, it's like a sheer finish, but it's very dominant. I have it on, like I said, today. It's just a very, very pretty, 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 beautiful peach color. For a woman of color, anybody who, I think this will actually be universal. I think this will be for anybody who is fair skin or dark skin. This is just a very pretty, um, I keep saying pretty. <laughs> it's just a very nice blush. Just to give you like give your face like a wash of color, but it's not too much. It is very pigmented. I've been having this blush this blush for like I don't know a year I think, and I just kind of forgot about it. And I recently found it, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty. So now I've been using this like every other day. So I really like this Peach Twist blush by Mac. It's just it's everything. All right, so I also talked about this on my Snapchat on New Year's Eve that I had went around trying to find this highlighter and I finally found it and I am in love. This is a drugstore highlighter that came out, I guess, a year ago or maybe, yeah, a little bit over a year ago and everybody raved about it. These were sold out everywhere, so I couldn't get my hands on it. So whenever I saw somebody Snapchat and I saw that they had it at Walgreens, I was like, I have to go. So I finally went and picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the color Crown of Canopy. Now, I did purchase the Pearls one as well. I did purchase the Precious Pearls as well, but I think that the Crown of Canopy is more brown girl friendly. This one has a lot of more gold in it. This one has a lot more champagne color. They're both very, very, very pretty. Uh, but the one that is my favorite that's in this video is this one, which is the Crown of Canopy. I am wearing this one today, but it's just a pretty, pretty and super pigmented highlighter that you can put on top of your blush. You put it, uh, of course, on the high point of your cheeks, which is what I did today. It's so, it's just a pretty, pretty, I keep saying pretty. It's just a gorgeous, I'm going to say gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I think it's perfect for um, women of color who are brown skin. I think it's really, really pretty. If you are fair skin, you might like this one a little bit better. This one is Precious Pearls. And for $5, I mean, you can't beat this pigmentation for $5. This is just, and then I've actually mixed them both, both together before. And even that came out really pretty, so... I'm not really sure if these are still sold in store, um, but I will give you guys a little hint that if you go looking for these, these were not like by the regular Wet n Wild items. These were on an end cap at Walgreens along with their other featured new products. So you might be able to find these. You may not. $4.99, you cannot beat this pigmentation, this price, and it's just, mm, I love it. Okay, so next is a conditioner that I was told about on a Facebook natural hair page for the Love My Naturals Lake Charles page. Um, I have been loving, I got this, I don't know, ever since I brought this, I'm gonna use this every wash day. And this is the generic brand from Sally's, but this is a gem generic conditioning balm. It compares to the Matrix Biolage conditioning balm. It repairs dry or damaged hair. This costs, I think, $9 or $10. It wasn't even, I don't know it wasn't more than $10, but you get 16 fluid ounces of this conditioner. I, I have been shampooing my hair with the One Little Parrot. Um, I just did a review on that one, but the One Little Parrot shampoo. Been going in with this conditioner to detangle, and oh my goodness. The smell of this makes me feel like I'm at a salon, which, I mean, I don't really mind. I like the way it smells. It just, oh, I love the way. It smells like hair products, but it's like a luxury hair product. 
I like this stuff a whole, whole lot. It gives my hair so much slip to detangle my hair. It keeps my hair very moisturized. So like whenever I shampoo my hair and then I rinse it out, I apply this conditioner, like a hefty amount of this conditioner, let it sit on there for about two or three minutes. I'll go and get me my shower comb and then I'll detangle my hair from my ends to my roots in less than five minutes because of this conditioner. It's like really, really good. So if you're looking for a good conditioner to try out, I think that you will love this conditioning balm. And this is the generic brand from the Matrix one. So if you want to go out and splurge and you know get the high end, go ahead and get the Matrix one. But I'm gonna stick to the generic one. And so last but not least, I'm gonna talk about this leave-in conditioner. I brought this maybe two months ago, and then I ended up repurchasing it again because I ran out of it. I loved it so much, and I stopped using it for a little while. Then I realized how much I loved it when I picked it up again, and I've been using it nonstop. And it's almost time for another one, as you can see. But I'm talking about the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. This is specified for dry, dull, and brittle hair. This is supposed to replenish, more, replenish moisture, improves manageability, add shine, and it's infused with aloe, provitamin B5, and wheat protein. The smell of this stuff is, this is what caught me, the smell of this stuff. It smells like vanilla and it's so, so, so good. You guys know that I like spray and leave-in conditioners. I've used this as a spray and leave-in conditioner after I washed my hair. I'll use this and then style my hair with this. I've used this to, to retouch up my hair like today. I would spray this in my hair just like any day that I feel like my hair looks a little dry and I want a little moisture. I just kind of mix this over my hair, put a little oil in it and go out the door. This stuff can be used as pretty much anything, not just, not just the leave-in conditioner. Sometimes when I'm trying to put my hair up, I'll spray this in just to moisturize my hair. It's just a great all-around product. Um, you can find this at Sally's, you can find this at Target, I probably even Walmart. Um, I picked up mine at, tar at my local Target here, but it's almost time for me to get another one for real. So, uh, by the time after I, use my, after I use it after my next wash day, I'm sure this bottle will be empty. But yeah, I think that this leave-in conditioner, and I may have talked about this before in a previous favorites. I'm not really sure, but if I did, I'm sorry. This is just something that I have been loving lately. This is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Moisture and Shine, and Shine, Moisture and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Alright guys, that completes this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these videos. I love getting you guys' comments. I try to respond to every last one of them. I might not respond that day, but I do read them. I do get them the day, the day that you guys leave them for me. So, if you also like what you see and you enjoy this content, contact, this content, please be sure to hit the describe, describe, hit the subscribe button down below. <laughs> So you will not miss another upload on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. But before you leave, be sure to check out these two, my last two latest videos. Bye.